Hey, welcome to another episode of GeekOutdoors.com. On my continuing open shot tutorial series, today I'm going to be showing you how to do this picture in picture effect. Now, this is an effect that I think a lot of people are very familiar with, especially if they're watching television where they have a main video or a picture and then they have another video picture within it. So you can see it right here. I have two different videos with a smaller one within the video that I actually have. Okay, so in the new version of OpenShot, there are a few ways that you can do this. Whereas in the older version, there's primarily one way. Okay, so I'm going to show that to you right now. So let's go ahead and start at the beginning. So the first thing you want to do is choose the actual video clip that you want to be the main clip. In this case, I want this one. So I have that at the bottom. And then you choose the other one that you want as the smaller picture in picture. So I have this up here. So right now, as you can see, this one is actually full size so obviously it's not a picture in picture so you can't even see the one underneath so here are a couple ways that you could adjust this right away the first thing is there are some predefined layouts within OpenShot to do this which is great so the first thing you want to do is right click on the clip that you actually want to adjust and if you see here there is layout and there are some predefined layouts and so Let's go ahead and do the top right because that's the one that a lot of people like to use. And as you can see there, it's already automatically adjusted the size of the video and also repositioned it to the top right for you. Okay, so that's one way. So another way, which is I think a really awesome thing that they included, is the ability for you to quickly transform this to the actual position and size that you want. Okay, so let me show you what that means. So if you right click on a property and you go to transform, here you have a lot of manual controls okay you could actually easily adjust the size and then adjust the position really quickly okay now it's not a hundred percent correct dimensions but at least here you could easily adjust things and move them without having to do a lot of technical things so if you press play here see it's already been moved and repositioned to where exactly where I want it okay now the one thing that you want to be sure when you do this is you want to do it at the beginning of the entire clip so it's the same size and position so make sure that you have this right here jump to the start whenever you're doing that so it does it for the entire clip okay so the last way that you could do it is the manual way uh, this is how it was done before so let's delete this and let's bring this back down now this one you will have to play around with but once you figure out the actual position you want it and the size it's really easy for you to adjust it whenever you need so what you would do is normally you just right click and do properties and when you do that you see these properties right here on the left and so here are some key areas that you can adjust location X and location Y is the first thing so that's actually the position of it so you could go here and use your mouse to adjust it okay you can just scale it left and right or you can also adjust it by putting in different numbers right here okay so at the beginning it's gonna be kinda of like you trying to figure out what's the best place to put it okay and then after a while you know exactly which numbers are the best place for your actual picture or video okay and then you could just repeat that in the future so I'm gonna assume maybe somewhere right there but if you notice the size of the video is still at full size so then what you would do is go down here to scale X and Y and you can adjust it just like you did the position. So it might look weird at first because the sizes are not the same yet. Okay, so there's your X and now let's adjust the Y to make it the same size. And obviously you could always type it in as well, which is the easiest way once you figure out what's a good position and what's a good size. And so I'm going to say, let's say 50% of X and 50% of Y okay and then up here for the location X and Y axis let's see if I could get it closer to a top right so let's put it right there and let's see if I could get the Y axis up closer okay and let's make that size a little smaller let's make the scale a little bit smaller okay so that looks a little bit better but you kind of get what I mean so once you figure out what is the best position and size that you want for your picture and picture videos what you can do is just remember those values so anytime that you wanted to have a picture and picture or video in a specific spot and size just use those same values and so 
that is the manual way to do it but once you figure it out it makes it a lot easier to do it in the future okay so another thing that I want to show you is the fact that you don't have to have the same size as position throughout the entire clip you can actually change the size and position wherever you want in the clip and so that's done by keyframes and so that's why I said it's important if you want it for the entire clip you do it at the beginning but say for example you were in this part of the actual clip and now you wanted to resize it again now here you could use any of the previous methods that I showed you so here let's go ahead and do the transform again and I'm gonna move it to the center and I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger okay so now if I go back to the front and press play you'll notice that now it starts moving to the position that I have and also the size of that particular keyframe and then you could do the same thing right here you can adjust it again you can use the transform or you can use any of the properties here and if you actually do it through layout what it would do is it will actually adjust the entire clip however if you wanted to say like you wanted to rescale this back to its normal size what you can also do is right click on your mouse go to layout and then reset layout so that way it'll put the entire clip back to this full screen and you could start the process all over again so that makes it easier for you to you know go back to how it was before and you know have it at the right dimensions as well and so that's how you would do the whole picture in picture and obviously there are many ways that you could actually play around with this but I think those three main methods that I just showed you uh, one with the actual layout the other one with transform and the final one by adjusting properties it allows you a lot of flexibility in doing the type of picture in picture that would work best for you and so if you had any thoughts on this whole picture in picture effect or any other types of things that you wanted to do in open shot be sure to leave that in the comments area below and as always if you did get value out of these videos be sure to subscribe and if you wanted to support my channel further you could do that at patreon.com forward slash geek outdoors Thanks for checking out this episode and as always if you like these videos be sure to click on the subscribe button and for full written content, audio content and additional geek stuff head over to geekoutdoors.com and I'll see you outdoors on the very next episode.